Hello everyone, today we're gonna show you a brand new house located in Amsburg for a million dollar. Let's go and check it out. So this is the first time for us to see the house from the inside, just like you guys. So let's check it together. So Amherstburg city is only 25 minutes from Windsor. Uh, Sarah, do you know like this, this city was built because the US and, and the US and Canada, they didn't get along together. Mm -hmm. So they had to build a fort because there was a lot of threatens. They fight each other over from over the, the Detroit River area. So this yeah. is one of the, one of the oldest forts in, in Canada to kind of to fight the U.S. Yeah. And uh, it was built in the 1979, yes. Yeah. I think it's called Malden Fort, Yes, right? it's called okay. Malden Fort. And it, I think it's still here, like we can visit. Yeah, yeah. and now it's just like a for tourist attraction, so yeah. we can take a look at it and that's you guys can very, see that's it. That's very kids. nice to know. So here is the, you know, as you can see, the first half bathroom here. I really like the colors here on all over the house. I noticed the color of the uh, staircase. It's so calm, I don't know, but I, I really feel comfortable. It's very when cozy, I look yeah. At it. Uh, here is the storage. Let's go, like, I can see that the house is very unique. It's very nice. So here is the place here i think it's just a storage where you can get out to the garage it's a two car two car garage so you can park here two cars and here is the walk-in closet and this area i think it's very helpful to put your shoes roofs and stuff i think it's jackets. nice especially because it's tiled on the floor so if you're walking off the garage yeah. your feet is wet or dirty you can kind of clean it up there here so is the amazing piece. I am in love with this part. I love how open this space is. It's so nice. Look at the windows. Uh, we have a big door here, two windows on that side, and one big window here, and two windows from here. Like, you have a lot of natural light that comes into this area, and I really like it. You know, it's it feels different. Like, right now, we see in, in like, a new built house, they're just trying as much as possible to not use the wood style. They're trying to use ceramic, like even for the flooring. But they are, like this builder is keeping the natural look all over the place. And I think it looks really good and comfortable to the eyes and even feels like, it feels like your home. Yeah, and like, I, like that I, feeling. I like the mixing, like even the wood color, it is not very strong to your eyes. It's so calming, very cozy. Even the painting on the wall, it's not so, it's not a bright white, it's like an off-white. Even of the cabinets, cabinets here. they're not very white, not shiny, but like they are looks, they look just very, very nice, very comfortable. These are a couple exposed cabinets right here to just add some more like to the decor and overall. And it's also a good space for storage. And look at the pantry. So they added this picture here. I think I really like it looks different and it, actually you have a very good space That's here good space. you can walk in you can put whatever you want very comfortably That's good space and this is just like an open concept area this is your dining area as you can see this is like a seating for six people it's a very spacious table and you still have a lot of room to walk around right sir oh there's space here sorry for stools as well yeah there's full uh, there's four stools here at the bottom and I really love the sink that always comes on the island. This is my favorite part. And as you can see, like this, all the appliances here are brand new, of course, because it's a brand new home. Really and by the way, we're walking right now inside this house without even turning a single light on. Yeah. So just, just to show like how the natural light is playing a huge part inside this house. Look, like you can see everything. It's very bright, very nice. And that didn't come just like a, as, as, as an accident because there's a bunch of windows on this side, this side, this side, and also from here. And yeah. Sarah, there's a fireplace here as well. Yeah, the, fi the fireplace is actually very helpful, like especially in winter. 
uh, completely comfy and the cozy look to the house. And I think the fireplace is a big part of the house. I agree. And I think you could also install like or put your TV right on top here. So when you're sitting on this side, you can watch. If you notice, like there's not a lot of furniture, but the house still look very good, very nice. Uh, it's, it's just so, I don't know, so cozy. It's so nice. So is there any bedrooms on this floor? Uh, no, there's no, this is only a kitchen and a living area and a half bathroom. Uh, the bedrooms all over on the upper unit, uh, upper level. So as you may guys know, like the, the two-story house that makes it very unique is the, the bedrooms are separate from the main floor. So a lot of people prefer, to, uh, prefer this. It's different from the rice ranch. Rice ranch is main floor, kitchen, living area, bathroom, and all the, on the, uh, all the bedrooms on the main floor. And this is why a lot of people don't prefer the rice ranch. I think rice ranch is more like if you're, in, uh, like if you have kids, or if you're like you're an old, like some older people, they don't want to keep going up and down to the stairs. Yeah. And they are like, they are afraid of for the kids to go up and down from the race stairs. Race Ranch is not an old style because there's still new built Race Ranch. But the thing is, there's two different styles. And of course, two story house is more expensive than a Race Ranch. And it's more luxury. It's bigger. And even from the outside, it looks bigger. And it feels like it's a three story house. Yes. So what is this door? Uh, this is gonna take us to the okay. basement. Let's to the basement. Let's is there lights here? Let's go check it out. Okay, there are some lights Let's here too. Let's see if the... So the basement is unfinished. As you can see, we're just gonna take a quick peek at it. Let's see if the basement has big windows or not. One of the big things that we should look at or you buyers should look at is high ceiling and big windows in the basement. And here you go. That's good enough. I mean, that the ceilings are very perfect for a two-story house. Usually a two-story house has a very, you know, the ceilings are not too high for the basement. Usually the high ceilings only for a raised ranch, but this is so unique and that's why it looks so big from the outside because they even thought about the ceiling of the basement. So it looks like a raised ranch. The I mean, basement the basement, yeah. One of like the big advantages of a raised ranch, they're having a big basement like, like literally, this. When I, when I walk in into a race ranch, I see exactly what I'm seeing right now. Yes. Big windows, high ceilings. It's just so, so I would say so this, good. the kind of this house checks most of the boxes because it has a nice basement as if it was a race ranch and also it has a second story. Yeah. So that's perfect. The only thing here, there is no separate entrance. So for example, if you're planning to do a second unit, adding a kitchen, I think it fits maybe a one bedroom there. You can build. You can build it. Like when you run, when you finish the basement, you can build that. You can add it to uh, a, a second, second entrance. entrance to it. Yeah. And just like Sarah was saying, the house is, looks very big from the outside. So even we thought like it's a three-story house because it's was really high. One of the highest houses, the tallest houses in the area. And that's really nice. Now let's take you to the second floor. So second floor, I just like what I was saying, it has the other, the, all the bedrooms on the second floor. And look at the staircase. I think it really looks nice. And also it's also good materials because you can feel the texture of the wood when you walk on them, when you touch them. I think that really shows the quality. And the, the, all of the, uh, like the, fix, the light fixtures, like look at this chandelier. I think this is the first time I've seen a yeah. chandelier like in this size. I mean, this, like it's huge. At the same time, it's very cozy. Yeah, it's it not like a crystal or a lot of stuff. So like fancy thing. Fancy stuff, but looks very modern and very nice. Yes. So now let's take a look at this uh, bedroom. This is like, look at these doors. So this is the master bedroom has two doors as soon as you walk in here and it's a very good size very spacious and again the uh, the flooring really continues throughout the whole house and they're really taking good care of the not the amount of natural lights that goes inside this house so they didn't forget to add three nice windows right here and they put it slim like they could have made them bigger but of course they were thinking maybe 
people will put a bigger like a bed or something like this so they wanted to leave some space for it so that's really creative and here you have a big door that takes you to the balcony and of course you have walk-in closets and you have a full bathroom in a suite I really cannot stand the amount of natural light that's coming here. I mean, we're, like, we didn't literally. There's no light on. Like I, I swear, like I wanna, I wanna keep looking at this space. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, just natural light comes, comes from everywhere. And it's also a nice sunny day for a video on a house like this I with agree. a lot of uh, windows. I agree. So here you have a spacious uh, balcony. Again, it's wood, completing what's inside the house. So that's also nice. Uh, you have your balcony going to your backyard. It's a very spacious and nice backyard as well. Uh, there's no neighbors right at the back. There's just some empty, empty like left space. There could be a trail or something in the future. And but this for... also gives like more privacy for the house. Like I especially agree. like if you're adding uh, a wood uh, fence at the back and also at the two sides. Just like just the like neighbors the there. neighbor that's doing there. Uh, maybe a big tree, very tall tree will give you Yeah, in a few place. years, like trees will grow and you can cover all of this area. It's going to be all yours. And yeah. it's a very spacious, like you I have I think that guy backyard. is already thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, and your backyard co continues to the left side. Like all of this is, even beside the house, is still your backyard. So that's really nice. So let's continue now and go back to the inside. So here, welcome to the master bathroom. So here you have a double vanity, freestanding tub, and stand-up shower right here. This is a four-piece bathroom. So right here, look, they didn't even leave the wood texture, the wood feeling right in the bathroom. They put it everywhere so you still can feel like you're in the same house. And that's really nice. I think that they changed my opinion about the look of the wood. <laughs> I used to like the luxury and all the glossy materials, but right now I think the wood is actually a very nice add to a new house. I think it's the, house. it's the problem of marketing. Like when they, people start marketing a certain thing, they kind of, everyone just goes on motivates to go toward it. Like recently we start seeing everything just white, yeah. glossy, and just modern. very modern, very with shiny. With all of these lines. Yeah, with the lines are very shiny. They're still very nice, but the, the, we don't forget about the wood, especially yeah. like the right color of the wood, because the old houses that we usually see, the the color of the wood, it's not so interesting. I know, yeah. But I think this color is so perfect. It's very perfect. And at the end of the day, you're living in a, ho in a house that you want to make home, so you know, feel, you feel Did you cozy. Notice the, and you want to feel good. Did you notice Look. the light fixtures here? It's more wood. And by the way, like this is not wood, this is tile, but it looks like wood. Yeah. And again, double vanity, your toilet is here. It's a very good size. The, and the, also you have some storage right here. And I really like this space. Like even the storage is spacious and big. And this is your walk-in closet. It's very, very, like this is just like a bedroom, like a kid's bedroom by itself, to be honest. Uh, but of course, this is a walk-in closet. There could is be no, an office. Could be an office. It could be a kid's bedroom if you want. But again, you have to be thinking about where you're going to put your clothes. So this is a place where you have you have to add a custom custom like cabinets here to fit all of your clothes. And that's also they left it for for the buyer. But to be honest, to I would really like it to be like for example my office to be here. It's nice, but again, you have to you think about your clothes. You can add a closet there. You I'm could. giving you any ideas. <laughs> Sorry, you have a lot of clothes to put them there. <laughs> this is the storage. Or maybe you can use one of these bedrooms as your office or your yeah. or, or as your closet. If you don't need all the four bedrooms, then maybe you can yeah. make one of them. Because this closet. house has four bedrooms just on this floor. So that's a lot. And also you have here your laundry room. So nice laundries. You have a storage on this side. And also you have a sink. This is your second bedroom. It's a very good size as well. And here you also have your closet. So every bedroom has its own closet and that's really good. And of course, a nice big window. I noticed there is a carpet here. Yes. Uh, again, this house is not about being like a crazy modern and fancy in the, in the new norm of people, what they think. Like it's really about being like utilizing all the materials and being not complicated, but being useful and functional. So if you have kids, 
you would love to have a carpet for them. It's going to be more warm on the winter and also it's safer when they play, they will fall, fall of the, the, uh, of the bed. It's safer. So I have some clients who really love having a carpet. This is your uh, second um, full bathroom. Yeah. Again, it's very nice. You have full tub here. Look at the color of the cabinet of the cabinets. It's matching the color of the flooring. So if, can you feel the texture on the Look flooring this, yeah. while you're wearing your shoes? I think you can really feel it. Like the texture. You can feel. <laughs> you can feel it. Like you can feel the texture. It's really nice. And that's also functional. Like again, functions, functions. Because you're in the bathroom, so you're not gonna slip. You're not gonna have any problem yeah. with this. So that's really they thought about useful. It. Like it's all about being useful, not just whatever the new stuff you get. Just whatever that the makes house. it look good. Yes. Uh, so that's your third bedroom. It's a very good size. You can see two huge big windows right here, and also you have a closet on this side. Actually, this feels like a master bedroom in, in couple houses. It's big, yeah. This is the biggest, the second biggest two, bedroom. I think it fits for two queen bedrooms. Yeah. And, and and for the carpet, I think because it's a brand new home. Uh, nobody lived here, so it's it, this is going to be one of the features that the carpet would be brand new yes. as well. And this is your last fourth bedroom. Again, it has a closet, two big windows, and it's carpet as well. So far, I think this house is very, it's very interesting, and again, it's very cozy. I've said this a lot, a million times already, <laughs> but I think this house really, really worth it. I really loved this uh, tour. I loved walking in here, and uh, so this house listed for a million dollar with uh, Jump Realty. If you have any questions about this house, you can reach us out. Our number is going to be on the screen. And at the same time, a few weeks back, we have filmed a brand new house in Windsor, Ontario. It's also a brand new, set for 1.2 million. If you want to check this house out, you can just click on the link right here and we'll see you in the next one.